hello it's all here in the first video we have uh, displayed how a service product was ordered by a customer and what are the options they have got for the conversation with each other and how the product um, service was uh, as a mark really broad and customer was able to drop a review on that particular product in this video we are going to explain you how that service product was created uh, and what options we have at a product level so here uh, right now i'm in the product section and i'm editing the service product the first option what we have here is related to the woocommerce checkbox now you can see that there is a new addition option service once this service checkbox is enabled you will get a new meta box here requirement here you can configure estimated uh, time in days you can put any value there it's about time you can set 10 days and it also allows you to create a set of questions for your requirement what you need uh, answers from your customers before proceeding or delivering their services so right now i have included two questions here question one question two and we have four type of uh, in general options like text area with editor both are the same thing it is the one liner text box next is the drop down checkbox or the radio button so you can create any type of question or you can also ask them to upload a file to provide your requirement as a top or any zip file so these are the options uh, what you have suppose that i'm going to choose checkbox option so i have to please make your choices and add rows option one we can set uh, what option will be the default one something like this and uh, in the same way you can uh, include multiple questions it's completely depend upon what are your requirement so i can update the product here so we have a service product with a set of questions what we need uh, from our customers along with these options like estimated time duration questions we can also uh, include our support agent so suppose that you have a couple of support agent in, uh, and you need to enroll them um, instead of you uh, answer those questions or part, uh, participate inside the, uh, those uh, conversation you can also assign any of the available vendor for supporting your product you have to make sure they are included at a vendor role or shop manager role so you can include them here and once uh, these are included uh, your product is available for uh, styling purpose so that's the that's the simple option what you have to include at a product level for the plugin configuration point of view like um, what are the options you have at a plugin level i'm going to explain one by one here the first one is when uh, service notification email like uh, when someone is submitting their any orders email notification is sent to them when a conversation is going to happen email notification is also created for them and that will be sent to vendor and the customer both of them customer notification that was like the small pop of what we are getting on the conversation page that is for that notification and you can keep that enabled by default and you can also list out all the notification what you have got if that is helpful when you are uh, placing multiple order from different different service providers and uh, you can also synchronize uh, reviews with the WooCommerce reviews that's all we have already displayed in our last video uh, the review what I have placed on the conversation that was also uh, displayed on the single product uh, the one which had ordered we have ordered uh, the redirect to the conversation page when you are placing your order you have two option to navigate to back there first when you if you want to receive on this option then you will get a thank you page with that order and then you can link that to the conversation page that is the one option second 
if you are just made a choice where your customer is buying one service at a time so in that case this option is useful when uh, your customer is getting redirected to the conversation page directly after placing the order so in that way they don't have to navigate to anywhere to uh, submit their requirement so they can directly submit their requirement and start uh, communicating with the vendor or the service provider uh, send email to additional co-vendor just like I mentioned here on the product level you have option to include any co-author or the support agent for your service in that way that service agent will also get a notification when a new order is placed for that particular service and this can be done at a product level so suppose that you have five products and you can assign five different people for as a service a support agent and they will get their dedicated uh, mails based on to which service they are included enable the live conversation live conversation is just a hx based service which is going to check for any new messages every five minute every five second so any new message will auto load there if you are still on that same conversation page so it's not like a real time chat service it is just a ping service uh, so it doesn't uh, make a accessible resource call that's why we had kept an interval uh, to load all the chat uh, with IJX call. Enable uh, to show the additional vendor or the co-author in the content form. Uh, we can also en enable or disable it. This is the page where we are displaying all the order details. So it is just a default mapping. You do not have to make any changes there. These are the standard notice. These are included. If you want to make any string changes, you can do that from here. Seller role, uh, these are the roles what we, who can sell your services. These are the admins of manager. When if you are using a vendor plugin, you can select the vendor role. In that way, these roles can create the service from the front end or the back end. If you are using any multi vendor plugin like Dukan or WC vendor, uh, they can include their services from the front end as well. Okay, and you have to make sure you have selected those roles uh, first, like uh, Dukan include as a vendor role and uh, the WC vendor also include as a vendor role. So you have to select their terms are different, but they call it as a vendor. Send customer notification for the filling requirement. Suppose that you have a customer who has bought a service order, but not filled any requirement yet. So it will automatically set a cron job for that particular order and send a reminder. Please submit your uh, requirement details. So your vendor or the service admin can start uh, working on your order detail or to complete a service order it's uh, something like this one suppose that i have submitted my details uh, and your service provider has already submitted uh, a order with all the details so your order is marked as a final delivery from the service provider but customer is not available in that case you can auto close that order after five days, if customer hasn't accepted that order, so it is helpful in those cases where customer is not available and they are not responding and you also have to pay your vendors. So this service is, uh, this option is enabled uh, and good in those cases when uh, customer is stopped responding after a certain time, after providing all the requirement, after making the payment, they have provided the requirement and vendor has worked on that one. So this is useful in that case. These are just uh, color combination or color scheme uh, to match with uh, your theme or the style. So that will helpful in the like how your conversation page look like the border and all those things are controlled by these options. So you have uh, these general setting. Apart from this one uh, on the vendor conversation page, we also have used couple of images and you can also change these images here so we have used a couple of default images like when order is started this image is used required for requirement this image is used or conversation so these are the milestone what we have used inside our conversation page and you can change your image uh, these images as per your requirement for the main point of view we have injected all the emails uh, inside this uh, WooCommerce section so conversation notification service order ready requirement received submit requirement so you can override these templates um, in your child theme to make any content changes there so for that uh, conversation email 
So this is the template file what you are getting inside the WooCommerce self service Woo self services template page. And if you have to override, you can override inside the child theme uh, at following path. So we are following the standard approach for registering all these emails and you can change them from here. The next option what we have uh, with the plugin is specific to let me navigate back to the options again is the notification after email like uh, what are the notification title these are the string changes and you can make them any content changes if you need so these are the options what we have at uh, plugin backend setting and i have also displayed how to create a service order the first step is to make sure the checkbox is selected for the service which you are getting on the product data field area beside the virtual and the download option once it is enabled it will start displaying the requirement box like uh, if that is not still not displaying you can also make sure this is checked from on, from the top from the screen option and this requirement will detail you have to fill the number of days first what is your timeline for the delivery second you can place any number of questions here you can mark them required or the optional it's completely your call and you can also assign additional uh, agent or the vendors to your service product so in that way they can also respond on behalf of you so these are the options uh, you have as a site as a product creator and on the front end point of view as a site admin or the vendor you have to navigate to the my account page and there you can find the service provider option and that will list all the new models which are available in the active tab and the complete will contain all the orders which are completed or which are cancelled on the cancel tab and um, let me place one more order just for fun switch to going to the shop page i'm trying to buy the second option now check out place order so right now i'm on the customer view once the order is placed i will on the order requirement page so now you can see that we have a order order requirement is in the pending state and this visit is going to guide you on which state or on which position we are available so these are the four steps are pending now i'm going back to the vendor so at present uh, the product which is sold by the michelle it uh, she was the vendor of the site so i have to switch to that particular vendor account to view the order uh, now go to the shop page my account page service provider and you can see that one order is pending and right now the status is waiting for requirement so once the requirement will be fulfilled there is no data filled by the entry so once the data is filled by the entry then they can start communication on these orders hopefully um, everything is uh, clear for how the complete system is working what are the back end option what are the front end option and in terms of order point of view all the order what we are getting here everything is placed here also for the conversation point of view um, up to that point when the conversation is open the order is status will the processing and after final delivery it will be on completed state so we are utilizing the standard woocommerce approach to uh, make it uh, in the conversation or make it as a complete for the review these are the options what you have and uh, you can contact us if you have any questions or you need any configuration help there this one small thing pending uh, visit okay uh, the sidebar visit what you are getting here it was uh, this one you this visit is available in the backend setting you just have to create a dedicated sidebar on this order detail page what is mapped there so with our theme we have a dedicated option to choose which sidebar 
we are planning to display on the right sidebar area. So right now we have used Wusel service order sidebar and the wizard was placed inside that one and that's the conversation page what you are getting on the website. So if you are going, going to the front end again, shop page, my account page and uh, right now there is no active order. Just uh, I can I am included here also. Let me check. Okay, so this conversation page now you can understand how this wizard is coming. So this wizard is uh, coming from the sidebar, and we have used whose services wizard here uh, to the sidebar. That's all. Um, you can contact us for any questions or any help. Thank you.